Hey guys, this is Melanie, and today what I'm going to be doing is my setup, even though I am behind. Um, I'm going to be setting up my plan for the year 2022. So, I'm going to still be using a budget mom workbook since it was late when I got it. Because of the snow, kids are out, so you may hear my twins, one sleep and the other one refuses to go. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be setting up the start, beginning of the book. Um, and I just printed all some of the pages and the month of um, January. So it just says that and it's, I don't have it in color. Um, and I'm sure a lot of y'all have already seen the Budget Moms Workbook, but the work belongs to, and I didn't put any information. In the beginning of the book, it has the directions on how to use the different items throughout the workbook. It gives a little bit of a detailed explanation. And then we'll go to, which hopefully you can see this, um, the financial goal. Um, the financial goals. So, I have my little pens here. I can get one out. I'm just going to do it in regular ink. And I was going to do it on the tablet, or I was doing it on the tablet, but I'm going to try to print it off and see how that goes. Um, at least for right now. Okay, so the first thing that they have is um, your financial goals and the goal worksheet for the year. So my goal, my one of my first goals is to get to emergency fund funded because I'm back on baby step one. And my goal amount for that is going to be $1,000. And I want to have this done by March of 2022. Um, a lot of things are changing, so I don't know if that is going to happen, but that's the goal. And then I want to get a car. <clears throat> I'm not even going to put that down because I may end up having to go back in debt just to get a car because I'm going to need one soon. So then the next thing is the subscriptions, and I don't have the due dates or anything for them, but I do want to list them just so that I have them all, because I may end up canceling some of these. So I do have Disney Plus, and then I also have Amazon Prime, and I may forget some, but I'll come back and add them later. That's okay. Um, Paramount. Netflix, XM Radio, and I've just recently added Canva and DocuSign, but the, both of those subscriptions are business expenses. So, but I'm still going to list them here because I've been paying it out of my thing, but I'm going to start taking it out of the business funds, but I still want to have this list. So, for my yearly savings, my goals and events, so I want to split up here the birthdays. So, the first one will be my twin's birthday. And I want to save at least 300 for that, 150 each, or 100 for gifts, and then each and then a hundred for supplies, cakes, and all that good stuff. So their birthday is in May. It's already January. So it says a monthly amount here. So in the goal monthly amount, since that is five months, I'll take the 300 and divide it by those five months. And that'll give me $60 that I need to put up each month in order to reach that goal by this deadline. Um, my birthday is next, which is in July. 
and I'm right inside way, so this is a little messy. And I think I'm just going to do 175 for that. I don't even know. And since it is in July, that's seven months. And that's $25 a month. And then my son's birthday is in September. And I do want to put some money in for that a little bit older. So, um, so we'll say that's nine months, 225 divided by the nine which equals out to 25 a month. So technically each month when I do my budget for birthdays, $110 should be going into that, which would be a total of 55 each check since I get paid every two weeks. So the next goal for the year would be Christmas. And I did 600 this year. Um, so next year I want to try for 1200 may not happen, but that's what we're going to go for. And so that's in December and 12, yeah, so that'll just be 100 a month for Christmas. And then back to school is another one that comes around each year. And for that one, I want to say 278 or 270. And then that usually starts in August, but we may be off a little bit. So 270, and that is the eighth month. Thing. Is that? Yeah. Mm. I to get even number. So that's eight months. That's two seven divided by That's thirty. So thirty times eight be two forty. So we're just gonna make this two forty. And that would be thirty dollars a month. sideways. Okay, so that's my yearly savings goal, and right now that's just the main things that I know that I'm, is going to end up costing me, so I no need to wait until the last minute to put the money in, even though it may not actually follow the 30 per month plan and all of that good stuff. So the next thing that she has is the yearly savings, and this is just to track this um, information, this Yada, yada. And I don't actually have a binder for each one of these, so I'm just going to leave this blank for now. And I may come back to that later. So then the next page is the sinking fund savings visual. And I could use this for my sinking funds, but I'm not for sure which ones right now. I could use it for, um, I could use it for these. But right now, I'm not going to do that. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about this right now. Um, yeah, and I got the, I bought this as a downloadable, like towards the end of the year last year. So there's a lot of stuff that I didn't fill out because it was too late in the year. Um, so the yearly spending would be, I guess, your income totals up here for each month, and then how much you spent in each category to do that. I do need to do that, um, but first I need to start tracking my expenses, which I do plan on trying to do kind of, sort of, this year. So then for this one is the yearly balance, and this is to track your savings, the balance each month. And, um, and then the months is down here, and then you can put the balance up here. You put your savings balance, debt balance, retirement balance, and then you can come up with your net worth each month. I do want to eventually do that, start tracking that. Um, this is the bill tracker. 
Um, and it has the bill tracker, the year, the month's pay. And this is where you can list all your utilities. Or This is how I'm going to use it. List all my utilities or bills and then mark it as if it or once it's been paid each month. And then I have a lot of them that are auto pay, so I'm going to also mark those so I know the auto pay, the Mountain Dew, so I can to help keep track of when the subscriptions is mainly what it is come out in insurance. This is medical bills. I don't currently have the only medical bills I have is on my credit report at this at this moment anyway. So I'm just going to add those into the debt snowball. So this form I don't need right now. And then this is a thoughts and notes page. Um, the only notes that I really have for this are things that I want to do. And I can't even see the lines. But I want to build my emergency fund. No, I'm writing perfect. Sorry, guys. Sorry, everybody. And then I want to focus on getting a car, preferably without debt, but it's not looking like that's going to happen. And then I want to start an LLC for the business. Well, putting the notary business out there. That's what I want to start that for. So those are right now just my thoughts and notes for the things that I want to start off for this beginning of 2022. This may grow. It depends on if I accomplish those goals or not and how fast. Okay, the next thing that I did is this, but yeah, I'm still going to use this, but I don't have my dry erase markers right now. It's still in the transition and moving. Um, so I'm going to have to print this off because the ink doesn't really show all that well. But that is how I kind of set it up for the new year, the book. Then I have in here also the January um, calendar stuff, which I've already put stuff on. So I'm also going to do another video where I'm going to set up the January calendar. But as you can see, I've already written in the days, so it doesn't take as long. And then you have the bill trackers and the cash breakdown. And then there's a couple of days. And then it goes into the expense trackers. And the one thing I did different this time with this is I actually printed on the front and the back of the paper. So, um, yeah, so then it has the expense trackers, then it goes into a debt payment plan, which I do plan on starting that. I just won't have anything with interest unless I end up getting that car with a payment. And then I also have the extra debt payments. Monthly net worth, I'm in the negative, negative, negative. So we ain't even going to worry about no net worth right now. Um, but I am because I want to start tracking some of that stuff. Because maybe it's not as bad as I think. Who knows? But I think it's in the negative, 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 negative. Okay, so then where did the money go? And that's for each category. I'm still working out the kinks of my categories. But I have changed it some. So this will be the monthly budget cash breakdown. Where did your money go? How much your monthly budget was? How much was spent? The difference in the percentage of the income. And then you have the monthly debt and savings breakdown. Monthly comparison, December, January. It'll just be starting in 2022. And then the cash um, teller slips, which I had some up here already printed so that I can remember and that I'm going to use those first. It's somewhere up here. But either way, so yeah, so that's how I'm going to be doing the 2022 budget. I'm also going to work on making some of my own forms so I can, like, track my sinking funds and that kind of thing. And then back here, so I'll probably put the business stuff here or in the chart because I'm not really for sure. And so I have a couple savings challenges. This is one. January, 
and I printed the wrong one because it has sample on it. And then I'm still going to do the 5, 10, 15, 20 savings challenge where you put in the different amounts. And this is printed in black and white. I still got to get some color in for the other print. So I'm still working on, still need to print off the trackers, but this is one of the savings challenges that I'm going to do for January. Um, I probably should go ahead and put some money in there, but I'm not because I'm just showing you the setup for this. I'm still going to do the $1 savings challenge, the $5 savings challenge. This one I got from Natalie's Envelopes. She has a page, Natalie Jensen, on YouTube. And so I got the $10 savings challenge from her and the $50 savings challenge. And I'm also going to do the $20 savings challenge. I haven't printed it yet, but I'm going to do the 52-week savings challenge and 100 envelope savings challenge. But I'm not going to really do it like on a schedule or in a rush. So 52-week savings challenge may be 104 weeks, but I am going to complete it, which I, already, oops, sorry, which I have already started it, so it may not be that bad. So, yeah, so that is going to be my budget setup for 2022. If you're interested in continuing to see that or watch or follow this disaster of a I Can't Get Right journey, um, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and until the next time, have a good one. Peace.